Hello, we're now going to look at the expense report template at SharePoint dashboards.com. This template provides a simple, easy to use grid view to enter expenses on a line by line basis. The expenses are automatically totaled at the bottom and then each person can then also attach receipts to their expense report. This uses a uh, dynamic system that can expand or collapse um, and show a different number of rows, as well as allow for the ability to change the dates um, and status for the expense report, all from the same grid view. In order to use this template, you are going to need to download this financial report STP file. This is a SharePoint list template. If you are not already set up to do this, um, you need to read the instructions provided in the notes section at the bottom under the help section, manage list templates. So we're gonna go ahead and create a list and walk through the steps right now. I've already downloaded and installed that list template so I can go ahead and go to my site content screen and then I can um, switch to classic SharePoint. In order to create a list from the list template, I do need to do that from the classic SharePoint view. Then I can click add an app. And then if you've just installed the template, it's gonna show at the end of your list. So page through all these options till you get to the end. And then you're gonna see your new option, which is called financial report. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and name my list. So my particular list is gonna be called tech team expenses and click create that should happen fairly quickly and once that's done you can uh, exit out of the classic SharePoint list view that is all the way in the extreme lower left hand corner of your screen okay so now I just need to find my new list which is called tech team expenses um, I can find it alphabetically in the site content screen and um, there it is, so I'm gonna click on that. And then what I should do before applying the template is just put a dummy record in. So um, I will put my own name, and you only need a few fields of information. So I'm gonna put this in for uh, May 28th through June 3rd. That's all you need to do. I'm gonna save the record. And there's a additional view provided. You don't have to use that one, but I usually like to leave the all items view intact. So I'm gonna to go to the report view. And now we're set up and ready to apply our template. We do have some different theme options. As with any of the templates, you can customize according um, to however you want the font size. Um, you can do different colored backgrounds for the columns. You can even adjust the column widths using the slider. Um, all kinds of different options are available there. So um, just cycle through those different options until you, you know, see the one that you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the default for my demonstration. And so I can just go ahead and do copy template, follow the instructions in the box and come over to SharePoint Go to the view selector, format current view, advanced mode, select all, paste, and save. Okay, there's my brand new expense report. So let's go ahead and demo some of the functionality. Um, so as you can see, when I hover over the grid, um, it gives me a little border to indicate. So um, I'll go ahead and put an item for May 29, and I just type in the amount and hit enter after each selection. Category, um, I'll put technology, and I'll say new computer mouse. And that's it, as they fill in, you'll see they fill in with the background color. Um, you can switch the name by clicking on the name, um, and then uh, same with other parts of the header. You can change the date range. All of this can be done directly from this grid view. And then of course the status is important. I can update to in progress. If you have multiple expense reports, you can expand or collapse those down at any time by clicking the upper right corner. Um, you can, on each row, if you click the little plus, that'll make a copy. 
for you. Um, if you want to get rid of a record, you can just click the X and that will clear out that row. The total is going to be automatically handled at the bottom for you. So that'll do a roll up total. There's a calculated column on the list, um, which you can find the list settings. And then in the lower right, I can control the number of rows. So depending on how many expenses need to be recorded, that can be um, expanded or uh, brought down to a smaller size. The capacity for this is up to 30 rows. Um, so that should pro uh, provide plenty of space. If for some reason you needed to do more than that, um, you could just make a uh, additional um, second report and just continue on in that report. Attach receipts, that just opens the side panel. So that would be a training uh, issue for your users. Just let them know. They should click that button, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then they can click on attachments um, to attach pictures of those receipts. By default, category is going to show as a text field. You can change that if you wish to have set categories for your team members to select from. The way that you would do that is go to the list settings and you want to specifically look at the uh, category fields. You will see those are all set as single line of text. In order to get the choice mode going, it's pretty easy to do. You would go into the field and select the choice option and then you can enter whichever options you want to do here go ahead and copy and paste your set of values you can save out it will convert that text field to a choice field and then you need to repeat that step for each of the categories there are 30 slots so you do need to go down through there the good thing is once you've done that you'll never again have to repeat that step Again, if you want to have a choice drop-down selection um, for your team members when they're um, entering their timesheets, you will um, just need to go into the list settings and change those category fields to choice fields instead. And that will work um, perfectly well in this template. So that's it. That's everything you need to know in order to be able to download and install this expense report template. This is closely related to three other templates that are on the SharePoint dashboards site in the reporting section under templates. If you do not yet have a login for SharePoint dashboards, you can go to the site and sign up for 20 free templates um, by just going through the main home site and clicking through and doing your sign up. This template is a part of the subscription package, which at time of this video includes a total of 143 templates. So lots and lots of different options to choose from. I hope you're able to soon use this template in your own environment and I wish you good luck.